This photograph was taken of me in London by English Cosmopolitan back in the 70s when eroticism was very big in England and also in the United States. And it just tells about some of the people who have bought my work, like Ringo Starr and Frederick Fredlini and, uh, oh gosh, Led Zeppelin and so many different people who were buying my work when I lived in London in the, in the 60s. Okay. That's probably, that's probably uh, someone at the door because I hear Mr. Chow barking. The first picture that is on this uh, piece of uh, advertisement or whatever you call it is a little figure that I carved for a sterling silver and gold chess set that I did back in London in 1971. Stephen Sondheim in New York, he owns a copy of this bought by Bert Shevelov when he read about me in, in London in 1971. And then the second figure is a little figure that I carved and cast into sterling silver based upon my good friend Daniel Luna. And then the third figure there is another little figure that I did of a Neanderthal man and uh, he's like mounting from the back. And then the fourth figure is the sterling silver buff buckle. That I created this belt buckle back in 1968 when I lived in Rome, Italy. I sold a couple of copies when I lived in London and then I must have sold it to someone who knew the film about Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil and Jude Law wore a copy of this in the film Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And then the last figure is a little buff, is, is a bracelet that I did for myself with a uh, turquoise in the center of the Scorpio's back. Yeah, that's what I'm on your side. Right. Yes.